This question comes in from Stephen, who has written the following. Back when I worked in IT full-time, about 10 years ago, it was common to see in the signature of emails people reminding each other to think of the environment before printing this email. It became widespread and used to slightly annoy me, so I once changed the signature of my emails to say, please remove all attachments and content and recycle this email after use as a bit of a joke. This is still stuck in my mind all these years, and with more talk about the carbon footprint of data centers, it got me thinking again about the cost savings of reusing emails, and if I had really gone barking mad, or if there's anything in it. Most all know about energy saving modes on their devices and so-called greener credentials of hardware, but are there other less known techniques to reduce your online carbon footprint that are so simple? There's another place that has big impact, and that's video. One hour of HD streaming is about 36 grams of CO2 emissions. And it turns out what we're doing right now has quite the impact as well. If you turn off your your camera during video conferences, there are sometimes you go to a meeting, a video meeting, and they're going, turn on your camera. Maybe you could say, no, I'm being green. I'm leaving my camera off because you slash your CO2 footprint by up to 96% by turning off your, your camera during video conferences.